So it was about 24 hours ago that we told you guys that uh, we had an announcement to make on the show that was literally going to change the face of the Burt Show. Um, an announcement that actually none of us are really looking forward to, but also an announcement that's so big that we haven't done anything like this in, in nine, ten years on the show. Mm-hmm. So yesterday you guys started speculating on exactly what that could be. <laughs> and it was all <laughs> over the place, man. It was interesting. It I was, love the conspiracy theories. Uh, the most that I got yesterday was that Jen was taken off. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. That she's been doing a whole bunch of TV stuff. She's been working with Headline News. Uh she wants to focus on family with Grant now. Um, she's pregnant. <laughs> Which would immediately make you unable to work. <laughs> yes. So her, your disability uh, of pregnancy. Her yeah. pampered chef parties have really skyrocketed. She's selling a lot of Tupperware. Her Mary Kay business is through the roof. <laughs> um, based on Jeff's announcement last week about he and Jessica, a lot of people were speculating that maybe Jeff just needs a little time right now. So mm-hmm. he's either taken a leave of absence or he's taken off from the show. Um, Stacy Mitchell on Twitter yesterday wrote, I wonder if Melissa is leaving to pursue her singing career. <laughs> That's a record deal. I'm That's right. Hey-o. Hey-o. <laughs> uh, my favorite yesterday was from Jody Burns on Facebook, which was Melissa is unfreezing her embryos. She and Jen are pregnant together. Because you can coordinate no. that perfectly. Right. <laughs> or somehow my egg fertilized your egg and we were right. actually having a baby together. Yeah. That's how I took it. <gasps> there were some yeah. that were speculating uh, that this was going to be an announcement about syndication, that we were going national. We already are. No. <laughs> we're, we're in Nashville. No. Yeah, we're in Nashville yes. still. Nashville, that's right. Not national. There were some that were saying <laughs> that um, Wendy has been doing so much stuff as far as dance goes, mm-hmm. and now she's trying out for the Atlanta Falcons cheerleading squad that, for sure, this radio show could only be a distraction to her Falcons career. Right. <laughs> so she must be leaving the show. Mm-hmm. That's not true either. Mm-hmm. And then the one about you visiting D.C. last yeah. week. You obviously love... And miss the show that you were on before. I, I, I must miss D.C. <laughs> so much that I'm going back to D.C. and we're going to change the Burt Show down here. That's not true either. But the truth is that there is a Burt Show member that is leaving our family. Mm-hmm. And that would be me, Melissa Carter. Uh, yes, uh, the announcement is for me. And I don't have a prepared statement. I had told Burt I'm just going to do this like I did uh, you know, in his office when I first talked to him. And I am leaving. Uh, my contract is coming up. And I made the decision to not uh, return to the Burt Show. And the, and the thing about change like this is everybody assumes the change comes because something bad has happened. So everybody will, you know, will probably assume initially there must be something dramatic going on behind the scenes. There must be some drama going on in my life. And the answer is no. There, I have, um, I'm in a privileged position. I told Burt it's been an honor to be on his show for this long uh, and I will still be on the show. My last day will be April 15th. So I'm not leaving today that I will be here for over another month. My birthday is Friday, by the way. Uh, and <laughs> we keep but- extending that day. It was one day. <laughs> then we begged her to stay another couple of days and another couple of weeks. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not talking with anybody else. I don't have anything that I'm going to. That may be another confusing thing for people. And, you know, uh, I think that it is just one of the uh, moments, and, and Katie Joe and I just keep calling it an Oprah moment, where uh, every time a contract comes up, if you're a contract worker, every time a contract comes up, there is the potential there for self-reflection. And it was probably in October that Katie, Joe, and I started having the conversation about my contract coming up. And so it's like, well, I just have this instinctual feeling that I want to try something else. I want to see what else life has to offer for me. And, um, you know, and that was just the feeling. There's, there wasn't anything there for me to look at. It was just this feeling of, well, you know what? I, uh, you know, my 10 year anniversary on the Burke show is later this month. I've been with the company for 15 years. And I thought, you know what? Let's, uh, I want to see what else life has to offer. But I thought, you know what? I'll wait to the holidays. Let's talk about it over the holidays. And so we got to the holidays and, uh, and, you know, I thought about it again and, and we talked about it, and I said, you know, the feeling hasn't I, the feeling hasn't shaken. I'm not looking at Jen Hobby right now. Uh, the feel the feeling is, uh, you know, hasn't shaken, and so it's, you know, but uh, you know what? I went to after the holidays, after the new year. So basically, a decision like this you put off 
um, because it is a big change. I mean, I'm leaving a family. I uh, I love Bert. I love Wendy. I love Jen. I love Jeff. I love everybody on the show, mm. everybody that has been a part of this show. I love my company. I mean, Bert has been so gracious to me uh, during this time and this decision. Uh, Cumulus has been extremely gracious to me during this time and this decision. So there's no there's no drama um, but it is one of those things. I've, it's a risk that I've never taken in my life, and that's another challenge I think for myself, which is that I am concentrating on the Burt Show first and foremost. I'm here till April fifteenth, and I am a hundred and ten percent member of the Burt Show as I've always been. Uh, come April sixteenth, I'm going to take a few months off because one, I've never done that before. I've never done that between jobs, and basically, I took this job when I was twenty five years old, you mm-hmm. know, at the company. And so now that I'll be forty one on Friday, you know, that I'm a forty one, I'm like, you know what? I've never taking time off. So I'm going to take a few months off and just be, you know, just kind of settle into myself and think about what it is I want to do and see what, what happens, what is, you know, what is there. There may be offers, there may not be offers, but uh, it's basically, uh, as I described to Bert, I'm jumping off a building and hoping that will appear. And uh, again, it's not a reflection of anything that's going on negatively. It's just a a sense of, I, I want to see what else I can do in this life. There's a couple of things that I think that I, I, I want to stress, and I've tried to go over my head the last couple of days exactly how this was all going to go down, and I had no idea really what was going to be said. Um, but I think— I don't remember it, what I just said, Bob. <laughs> <so. laughs> uh, as a virtual listener, I, I want you to know this, and if you follow radio at all, sometimes— um, If you follow the history of radio, contract – look, we had this happen with Jeff a couple of years ago where it became a big pissing match between Jeff and the company, and we thought that we were going to lose Jeff. Um, In a lot of cases, that's how it goes down in radio. This is not one of those cases. Melissa came to me, and I'm speaking sort of on the behalf of the the company right now before I get into my personal feelings about what's going on. Mm -hmm. There was never a negotiation. Melissa – as far as I'm – as far as I know, right? You're correct. Melissa came into my office about a week and a half ago. And was completely authentic with me and sat down and basically said, look, I've been taking a look at my life and I've been taking a look at where I am right now. And in not so many words, she just said she doesn't have 100 percent passion for this right now. And I totally and completely respect that. I could have asked the company to come back with a boatload of money for Melissa. I didn't do that. None of us want anybody in here that isn't fully committed to this and really love – you have to love this job in order to get up at 3.45 in the morning and do it. So as much as we all love each other and hang out with each other, this is a taxing job. This is really emotionally taxing. It is physically draining. It's not as hard as most of your jobs, that's for sure, but it is really, really taxing. So if you're being authentic and she looked me in the eyes and she said – I'm just not as into it. What can I say at that point except I love you for being authentic and I love you for respecting what we do so much that you can walk away. And that's exactly what she's doing. And that's, the, you know, and that's the message I wanted to send to Bart and I wanted to send to Cumulus when I talked with them. And it, it's it's out of respect. You know, I, I you know, I'm being honest with myself. And, you know, uh, in talking with friends, it's I'm trying to be more honest with myself than I've ever been in my life. I mean, I think especially since my transplant, uh, my kidney transplant, for those who didn't know I had one, um, you know, I've tried to really live life a lot fuller and a lot more, you know, more uh, honestly, not to repeat my words, but you know, not to just let things slide by, to really pay attention to all the signs that are around me and in me. And, you know, I'm 100 percent perfectly healthy and and this job is 100 percent perfect and everything is great. It's it's just one of those times in your life where you think, well, you know what? I want to try. I want to go out there and see just what else is out there. What it is, I don't know. I mean, y'all be the first to know. I'm not leaving again until April 15th. So I'm not leaving today. (laughs) Uh, And that's probably why there's the tears. The thing is, because I swell when I cry and I don't like I don't like (laughs) as well so uh so one of the things about any kind of a you know the emotions have i let those kind of flood inside of me um you know i'm kind of bracing for that you know that'll be a lot tougher april 15th will be a lot tougher day i think for me than uh making the announcement because i want to share with my family the burt show in studio and and, uh, in the community are are my family and so I, i just can't tell you how much respect i think we all have for you for making that decision i mean people don't do that usually have something lined up or some kind of safety net mm-hmm. lined up. And you're saying you don't have anything. Don't. <laughs> I'm just. People, but a lot of people may say that. That's well, the... I think it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Oh, yeah. Jen, yeah I can't look at Jen. 
Jen's crying. But I, yeah, I, um, it's just, yeah, I'm taking a risk and I've never, you know, I'm, I'm, I've never done that in my life. I've really, I don't know. I just, I just want to do it. It, it, it. It's one of those things I feel like I'm spinning my wheels trying to give an explanation when there's none to be given. It's, it's, everything's good and I'm in a, in a great place in my life. And, um, like I said, if, you know, it's, it's worth the risk to see what else, you know, I can accomplish in this life. And I've been so honored to be here and accomplish what I've accomplished here. So, uh, and we'll talk more about it. I, I just, um, I, I just wanted to let everybody know what's going on. Well, I'm really proud of you. I do think it sucks, but I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being very selfish, but I'm really proud of you for deciding that this is not life, you know, that, that this job and this career is, can be very consuming and can feel like it's your life. I'm just really proud of you for seeing what else life can bring. Thank you. So I'm, I'm proud of you, but selfishly, I'm <laughs> really, really upset. No, I love you all. So, and it, yeah, and it is, it is, you know, we are a family um, in here. So it is, it is a tough decision. It is, I mean, it certainly was not, I mean, that's why I say, you know, putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but not being able to ignore it, you know, not being able to ignore the feeling that I had. So change sucks. <laughs> if you had to take a risk, I've been right here. <laughs> you, you talk. Jeff, it's still not going to happen whether she's yeah. here or not. He's like, I'm more available now than ever. Right. Like, I mean, seriously. I mean, if if you're looking to do something new. <laughs> Why not Jeff? <laughs> hey. Uh, then I'd be crying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Erica, good morning. You're on The Bird Show. Hi. Hey, I just want to say, first of all, I love the show, guys. Been a long-time listener. Thank you. Um, Melissa, we are going to miss you so much. And we're so, we're all, I think we're so proud of, you know, the strength that you have. But we're just going to miss everything that you've given back to us over the years. And being the voice of the gay and lesbian community on the radio, you know, well, it's just, you. we're going to miss you a lot. And you're amazing. We love to listen to you. And, um, you know, Hopefully the bird show will be just as awesome. I think they will. Of course. But we're definitely going to miss you. So well, thank you very much. We're proud of you. I appreciate we that. We love you. Thank <laughs> you. I've been trying to envision like what it's going to be like in the studio without Melissa Carter. I'm not leaving until April 15th. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like looking long term at it, like <laughs> hearing somebody else do news or, mm -hmm. and it's just, I, it, I haven't been able to really sort of to embrace that mm -hmm. yet. Well, thank you. I mean, I the thing I, I was telling Katie last night, she's like, "How you feeling?" And even these guys in in studio were asking me how I was feeling before we came on air. And I, you know, I I said I'm a little intimidated because the build up and then everybody again is being so so sweet and so gracious. And and you know, I have to say that that is something that you strive for. And of course, I have an ego. That's why I do this job. And but there is a part of me that is also just I, I don't know. I. I uh, am humbled by it, you know, and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all the sweetness, but thank you so much. Here's Tori. Good morning, Tori. You're on the Burt Show. Hey, guys. Good morning. How you doing? Okay. Good morning. Well, we've been better. I've been with you guys for 10 years, and I got the scars to prove it. And I love <laughs> you guys so much. And I sat here, with Melissa, when you, start, when you made your announcement, I felt as if my sister is leaving home. Oh, yeah. And I wouldn't see her again for a minute. I know that's real serious, but... I love you so much. I've Thank always, you. I was mad at you the other day, and now today you're like, oh, I'm leaving. I'm like, damn. So <laughs> I love you, but I wish you the very best in everything that you do and all you, and, and, and every success to you and your family. Thank well, you thank so you. much for making me laugh in the morning. Well, thank you so much. And I think what you said, I mean, it, that's why I call this a Bert, the Burt Show community family, the Burt Show members in here, my family, because like you said, you can be mad at me one day and then the next day not, and that's what a family is. So I, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, we'll continue to take your calls. I mean, they're obviously the phone lines are lit up with people well, that are bummed you. you're taking off. If you're just joining the Burt Show this morning, uh, Melissa made the announcement that uh, after Nine and a half? It's been, well, it'll be 10 years at the end of this month. So it'll be 10 years. After 10 years on The Burt Show, I'm I'm leaving. And that's the with The Burt Show. And it's 15 plus years with Five the company, years. which in yes. radio is 11 lifetimes. <laughs> seriously. I mean, it seriously is. Like 15 years with one company? Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. More of your calls next on The Burt Show.